Hi guys. So a while ago, I spotted these photos by a beauty Instagrammer called Namelo, and I just thought, wow, I need to have those in my life right now. These are lip switch holographic lip glosses by Sigma, and they come in five different shades. It turns out I was actually lucky to get these because they blew up on Instagram and sold out a few days after I ordered. However, they're definitely going to be restocking them, so just follow Sigma online if you want to know when. If you're new to my channel, then a huge welcome, and you found the right place for fun and original DIYs. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. My first thought when I saw these lip glosses was that they look so beautiful; it's almost a shame to just use them on your lips. I thought there had to be a way to preserve this magical rainbow effect forever, so I decided to turn it into a DIY phone case. There's even liquid gloss inside, so you can squish it around and enjoy the hollow for as long as you like. This DIY is actually much easier than it looks. You simply need some hollow lip gloss, a lipstick, bright nail polish, a clear phone case, and some wide transparent tape. First, take the brightest lipstick you have and paint your lips with it. Take the phone case and make sure the inside part is facing you. Now, literally kiss the inside so you can get a lip mark like this. For best results, do it in front of a mirror or use your selfie camera so you can see where the lipstick is going. Then repeat it twice so you have two more lip outlines to use as a tracing guide. Grab a toothpick and chew the end slightly so it turns into a little brush. Then drip some nail polish onto scrap paper and use the toothpick to paint in the lips. Try to paint in tiny jagged lines so you get that realistic lip texture. Look how cool this turned out! I used pink nail polish, but this works great with any color. Then just keep on going until you've completed the other two lips. The great thing about this DIY is that it really doesn't take a long time to make, and it doesn't use a lot of materials either. I ended up using less nail polish than it takes to paint one finger, and later on, I also needed less lip gloss than I normally use on my own lips. Once you're done, leave the nail polish to dry completely. Then take a makeup wipe and thoroughly clean off the lipstick from the other side. You can also check if the design looks nice, and if necessary, touch it up with more nail polish. This next part depends on the color of your phone. I decided to make a white background so the lips really pop out. To do this, I simply trace the case outline onto white card and cut it out. You can also paint the entire inside of the case using white acrylic paint, and I did something similar in my holosexual phone case DIY here. This phone case already looks great, and you can actually leave it like this if you want. Though I still need that hollow effect, so I'm going to take it a step further. Check that the nail polish is completely dry, and then start applying the lip gloss just like real makeup. I'm using a mixture of all three glosses, which were Pink Lotus, Double Whammy, and Otherworldly. Otherworldly was definitely the best one because it has this amazing green and lilac shimmer, like a mermaid riding a unicorn across Tumblr. Now take some white transparent tape and stretch it across the top. The best option is to find a tape that's wide enough to cover the entire phone case. Mine was a bit too narrow here, so I had to do it in two pieces. Try to apply it as smoothly as possible and press the tape down around the lips to seal in the gloss. By the way, this is the reason peel-off base coats never work for me because they always get destroyed during filming. Lastly, just trim off extra tape from the sides and smooth out any air bubbles. If you see larger bubbles, then you can just pop them with a craft knife or pin and then press them flat. And now your liquid lip gloss phone case is done. I loved how easy it was to create the lip design, and I hope you'll have fun trying this out yourself. Don't worry if you can't find the exact lip gloss. You can either wait for this one to get restocked or look for similar ones from other brands. You can also follow me on Snapchat and Instagram under the name Macaroon, which is the name of my other YouTube channel. So be sure to subscribe to that as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.
Thank you.